spit it. I don't know what happened. <sighs> what happened is something extraordinary, I think. Because um, even though I think I've been, in my mind, I've been overweight since I remember <laughs> as a child. Not that I have always been, but that in my head I've always been that. And it hasn't really bothered me. I've been healthy, I've been happy, um, but inside, yes, did I want to lose weight? Yes, I did. And, um, but then, two years ago, I attended a seminar that was supposed to be about speaking. And one of the assignments that we were supposed to do between sessions, this was a seminar held in London by Marcia Martin, the one and only. And um, Marcia was talking about how we have, we have the tendency that we have not to honor who we really are and honor our body and really pay, um, show our body the gratitude of what our body is doing and as a result of that what we do is we don't when we look at ourselves in the mirror we might look at our face for a brief moment while we're brushing our teeth or doing our makeup or whatever but we're not really honoring our body and I this kind of like made me think and at first I didn't quite get what she was talking about but the Later that day, she gave us an assignment. She told us to go when we were showering uh, that morning or that night, that we would really pay attention. We would literally force ourselves to stand naked in front of the mirror and watch our body and connect with our body and show our body gratitude and I did Runa you have makeup on shame on you no <laughs> I know and that's when I realized that I had been ignoring the temple that is holding me and protecting me and something that happened right there as I felt that I hadn't done that that um I think there's something that clicked and f for a whole year I was thinking about how do I do this how do I really start to honor who I am? How do I allow myself fully to shine as I am? And um, then this January, 11 months ago, I was with a group of friends and uh, we were setting our goals for this year. And there were three of us who said, we're gonna lose 20 kilos. I thought, oh yeah, I'm so into that. I have now someone with me who is going to go with me all the way. Long story short, here I am, 4th of December 2017, and I lost my 25 kilos. And how did I do it? I think, really literally, I think it all started when my head connected with my heart and my body that time in London and that's how it started because I needed something I needed that connection and now what I'm doing today with Bjarne is to continue that journey I want to continue to honor my body so that both my body and my soul can continue this journey and do it in a way that is authentic and real and fun and uh, something that I can inspire other people to do as well.
guess that's my story. And how does it feel to be Rona Magnus? A skinny bitch. That's <laughs> <laughs> a new neck now. Um, it feels liberating. It feels like I have created space for me to fully um, become who I truly believe that I should be. And that is to be the inspiration that I can give to others. Um, to be the connector that I am, connecting other people and to be the light that I can shine on other people because that's something that I love to do as well. And I think the more that I allow myself to, give, to have that space, the more I can do for others. Simple. Is it simple? It sounds simple. It's simple when you are connected to that journey or you connect it to that uh, purpose.